Arizona is, of course, expected now. Uh, I was going to talk about that. That's actually a good segue into, into the conversation about the Arizona Senate race between um, uh, Martha McSally and, right? Or what the fuck was her? Oh, why am I forgetting her name now? Yeah, Martha McSally versus uh, 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 Mark Kelly. And it is so bad. Is there a highlight reel that I can take a look at? Because my God, Martha McSally is hated, okay? Uh, the senator uh is absolutely fucking hated, despised in Arizona. All right, people don't like her. She didn't fucking win. She, she was appointed to that position. People usually don't like People usually don't like the, and this is, is true for Republicans as well as, as Democrats. People often don't like appointed uh, people into uh, Senate seats. So uh, this is the same with Loeffler, Kelly Loeffler as well, by the way. Um, like nobody likes uh, appointment, uh, like appointed congressional races. So she really showed her ass. Um, it's telling that this is the first legit time I've heard a D strategist discussing flipping a seat like Alaska's. Yes, she was appointed after left to see where John McCain died. You should explain that she lost her race, then then got appointed anyways when McCain died. Exactly. Like, she has never won a fucking... She hasn't won this race. She lost the race. And, and she was still appointed after John McCain. And people in Arizona don't like her. Actually, this is one of the few areas where there are legitimate never-Trump Republicans because of John McCain. It's like one of the few areas that like the the uh, never Trump Republicans have had significant electoral impact. So while I admit that they suck dog shit everywhere else, Arizona is one of the few places. But then, of course, uh, on top of that, you have a Hispanic voting uh, block there, too, that is uh, potentially turning the state blue. Uh, we, we shall see what happens there, but um, who knows? I know you love John McCain for this, right? No, I, I don't. I hate John McCain, except for the fact that he was a revolutionary hero who took down uh, the American military personally, six fighter jets uh, in his own hands, and also, uh, and also uh, put in, after dying, uh, appointed a horrible, horrible senator like uh, Martha McSally, who's just fucking despised by Arizona and Arizonans. So great. Great for him to do that. Um, Good job, John McCain, for dying like that. Okay, let's you keep going. You consistently supported uh, President Trump. You supported the administration's policy. Uh, this is one of the best moments I've ever seen in a fucking Senate debate like this, where the moderator just very clearly, this is the moderator, very clearly goes, okay, fuck you. Watch. You voted policies, I should say, and you have voted uh, not to uh, convict on impeachment. Are you proud of your support for President Trump. Well, I'm proud that I'm fighting for Arizonans on things like cutting your taxes. We huh, interesting, Martha McSally. Why, why can't you say that you're proud of your support for President Donald Trump? Now, she literally can't say that. She can't say that she's proud of Donald Trump because she's going to lose a bunch of those like never-Trump Republicans that I was talking about that fucking despise her already. Okay? So she needs to come across as like a little bit more moderate. But if she says she does not, she isn't proud of Donald Trump, then she's fucked because then you lose the rest of the Republican Party that's already, like, voting for her. So look at this answer. We passed the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, and on average, Arizona middle-class families had their taxes cut by $2,000. We had such a strong economy before this first-in-a-century pandemic hit, and so we fought to cut your taxes. We fought to rebuild our military after the Obama-Biden dec uh, administration decimated our military. 25% cuts when deployments were going up. We had a hollow force uh, voted to secure our border. Border security is national security. And that means something here in Arizona. We see the cartel activity. And as your senator, I've got the most bills passed than any other senator, tied for first. Uh Isn't that kind of funny that that is an admission, by the way? I often love to look at what Republicans say and what they don't say. To, 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 to find a conclusion about what they often say elsewhere that she's not saying. She said that actually means something here in Arizona where we see cartel activity. That is a tacit endorsement of something I say all the time, which is the reason why motherfuckers in like Oklahoma or even worse, like in fucking Iowa care about 
cartels is completely made up. Okay? It's a completely made up nonsensical position to have. You live in fucking bumfuck Iowa and you're like, yeah, the cartels are coming here to fuck my corn and only I get to fuck my corn cob. Like, okay? Like she literally, that's, that's what that is. That she's admitting that she's like, well, we're, you know, we're fucking, we have actual cartel activity here in Arizona, which is basically just an admission that like all of those other people that fucking freak out over the cartel activity in their bum fuck uh, parts of the country are completely just horny because of all their racial agitation, uh, that, that, uh, Republicans engage in. Okay. So I love that. Um, it's almost as idiotic and self-centered as like, again, people from fucking bumfuck Iowa and Ohio thinking that if aliens were to come to this planet, they would go to their stupid fucking cornfield and not immediately to an area like a metropolitan area where like most human beings congregate. Yeah, dude, they definitely came there. Yes. Yes, Hank. They definitely caught you in the fucking cornfields. Okay. With your pants down and, and put something in your butt. Certainly that's what aliens would do. And not necessarily hit, uh, you know, an area where there's like, where an area that's densely populated when you yourself and your family members don't even want to fucking live in Ohio, but aliens uh, are definitely going to come down there. Anyway, so that's, the t I went on a tangent there, but it's like one of the most ridiculous self-centered fucking takes that I hear from Midwesterners all the goddamn time. Uh, it's just so silly. Uh, and it's, it's exactly the same as like cartel activity and, and just like alien invasions happening there. Um. Let's keep going. Uh, for most bills signed into law out of any of the 100 senators and was the sixth most bipartisan senator. That's my record. Fighting for Arizona, putting legislation on the president's desk. I put legislation on President Obama's desk when I was in the House. I put legislation on President Trump's desk. I go to Washington, D.C. with an AZ on my jersey to fight for Arizona. But this is what's at stake here. My opponent says he would, he would support Bernie Sanders at the top of the ticket when he was surging. And we now have a situation where this is going to decide the Senate majority. And if Biden, Schumer, and Pelosi are in charge, they're going to abolish the filibuster. They're going to ram through the most radical agenda that we've seen. Bro, uh, ma'am, this is a Wendy's. All I did was ask you if you're proud of your support for Donald Trump. What, what are you doing? So counterfeit Kelly says he's an independent and a moderate and lots of platitudes here, but the stakes could not be higher. If you want your tax cuts, I'm your girl. You want the largest tax uh, increase in history? You got Sen somebody else over here. Senator, the question was, are you <laughs> proud of your support for President Trump? I'm proud to be fighting for Arizona every single day. Is that a yes or a no for President putting Trump? Putting legislation on President Trump's desk. So you're proud of your support for you, President you Trump? You look at the legislation we put on. This is my favorite thing that this moderator has done, which every moderator should do going forward. You ask a yes or no question three times, and then you go with the yes answer because they can't say no. Or whichever is the most, un, whichever is the most uncharitable answer for her, you just go with that. Because then she has to say no. On his desk, it's to cut Arizona taxes. It sounds like she is proud of her support I'm for President Trump. I'm proud to be fighting Trump. for Arizona. The question is, why was he wanting to support Bernie Sanders? Our hey, guess what? Bernie Sanders, quite popular. Donald Trump, obviously not so popular that you literally have to say you're not in favor of him. Uh, so that you can even etch out a marginal victory there in Arizona. Do you... Regarding President Trump, your overall impression of his behavior and his actions in office. Your opponent just basically said she's proud of her support. Would you support such a person? Not a, no, not acceptable. And um, but what really concerns me are uh, the things that matter to everyday Arizonans, like their health care, uh, like a one point nine trillion dollar tax cut that he passed that went to the biggest corporations and the wealthiest Americans. And after that tax cut was passed, twice as many companies paid zero dollars in federal income tax. That's not leadership. That's not what we need. I think that was a mistake. That didn't help middle class taxpayers and working class folks here in Arizona. Um, so I have major concerns, but we have an election in 30 days and America has a choice to make as to who's, who the next president is going to be, who's going to serve in the Senate, the House. There's governor's races around the country. If you want to know how bad, by the way, Mar like Mark Kelly's pretty good overall. 
But if you want to know how bad uh, Martha McSally was, on top of like Mark Kelly being like an overall decent guy and and telegenic and you know uh, like popular, so <laughs> Martha kept saying, "You are in support of radical groups, radical leftist groups." So. I don't know if you have the video for what I'm about to say here, because it's so fucking funny. If you want to understand how bad she is at politics, this is the perfect example. She kept saying, well, Mark Kelly is in support of radical leftist groups, radical leftist groups. And finally, when faced with the question of like, who are you talking about? Oh, you have the video of it? Oh, dude, this is so fucking... Mr. Please. Kelly, these so the organization that Senator McSally is referring to is named after my wife, Gabby, Gabby Gifford. She kept saying you're a part of extremist groups, extremist groups, radical leftist groups. The organization that she was fucking talking about is Gabby Gifford's organization that he started with her husband. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with this, Gabby Giffords was shot in the fucking head. And it's a gun control. It's a common sense gun Regulation Advocacy Group. After she got shot in the fucking head. It's named Giffords. Gabby was injured, shot in the head in 2011. The issue of gun violence is personal for Gabby and me. And I'll never forget, you know, what she went through for that year and a half in the hospital for six months, a year of significant rehab. Today, she still does physical therapy and speech ter therapy. It's an incredible challenge. Uh, so we formed an organization to try to make communities and help communities become safer, you know, safer from gun violence. I'm a supporter of the Second Amendment. I'm a gun owner. Um, our rights and traditions are so important. The Second Amendment is so important. But we can never let a bunch of kids in the classroom, you know, get killed and think there's nothing we can do about it. You know, common sense things like background checks. Can you be any fucking worse at politics? Can you be any worse of politics than to just give a fucking layup to this guy? Like, you're basically serving uh, this victory to him by, by giving him an opportunity to remind everyone that his wife got shot in the fucking face by some psychopath in an assassination attempt and survived and put together a common sense gun legislation uh, advocacy group and he's already a fucking, like, pro-Second Amendment guy anyway. He already has fucking guns. It's so bad, dude. It's like a conversation that you're never supposed to have. God, she's so bad. She's so fucking pathetic, dude. For all gun sales. Red flag laws. Um, these are common sense things that most Arizonans support. Apparently, Senator McSally does not. He is leading in the polls. Yeah, former astronaut, wife got shot in the fucking face. Like, good luck, GG's. Like, you're intensely disliked, partially for your literal support for Donald Trump uh, in the aftermath of a popular senator dying whose seat you were assigned to, you were appointed to, okay? The people of Arizona liked fucking John McCain, so there is already, like, an actual Never Trump Republican constituency there. It's just, you just are throwing, like you're literally throwing the fucking tax, you're, you're, you're throwing the election. Look how easy it is to dunk on Republicans when you aren't Joe Biden, LMAO. I mean, it's, this guy is, this guy's winning on background too, though. Like, would you rather have Mitt Romney or Joe Biden as a damn candidate? What a fucking psychotic take. Yeah, I'd still prefer... Joe Biden over Mitt Romney. Like, I would prefer Joe Biden over uh, Michael Bloomberg, too. How are the stupid people the ones who are able to get so far in politics? Because she fills a role. She's rich. She fills a fucking role. And that's it. And she's a party loyalist. He's a living Bruce Springsteen song. And he's against the woman who never got over 40% approval in the office. In an office that she, obviously, that she did not win. If the Dems can't win this race, they deserve no wins at all. Exactly. Like, the previous person that Martha McSally lost to, okay? The previous person that Martha McSally lost 
two in Arizona is an ex-communist lesbian who has blue fucking hair. Okay, even though I hate I hate new Kristen cinema. Like old Kristen cinema, very based. New Kristen cinema, worst and anno most annoying fucking uh, uh like middle ground neoliberal, but still with uh with blue hair. She was asked about Trump shitting on John McCain and her response was, I told him to stop it. Just, I'm just saying, like, imagine losing. Imagine losing to a, like, blue-haired bisexual woman in Arizona. Like, who used to be a fucking commie. Like, straight the fuck up, by the way. Straight the fuck up. Like, it's not the, it's not the bi, uh, blue hair and, and, and being bi. It's literally the fact that she was also like a hardcore, like dumpster diving, fucking crusty ass commie. Anyway. Um, have you talked about Calvary's Prop 22 on stream before? Not, uh, I haven't, but I will. Uh. Oh, wow. Okay, let's watch this one. Let's watch another one. This is so good. Martha McSally says, it pisses me off when Trump attacks John McCain, says, uh, let him rest McSally. in peace. Uh, the president has reportedly, by way of the Wall Street Journal, the Atlantic Monthly, uh, CNN, Fox News, all reporting that he referred to members of the military as, quote, losers and suckers. You are a military veteran. Your thoughts on this? Well, I'm not going to comment on anonymous sources, but what I can tell you is I'm proud to have been I able to tell you. the military. And we're working to rebuild our military after Obama and Biden decimated our military, giving our troops everything they need in order to fight tonight. I mean, we had our units where they they, they were not ready to go. Uh, they were decimated in a readiness crisis. We had more people dying in training accidents than they were in combat uh, in the years, the end of the years of Obama and Biden. So I'm working with President Trump to rebuild our military to save the A-10, by the way, something I did when President Obama tried to cut it, uh, then President Trump tried to cut it, and I just saved it again. This is critical uh, for Tucson and davis Monthan and the troops are on the ground. So I'm always going to have the military's back. But what's at stake here, should we lose the White House, the Senate, and the House, which comes through Arizona, this race will decide the Senate majority. And Chuck Schumer is so proud to have recruited Mark Kelly. He's bankrolled his campaign. He's trying to ensure he has power. And if they get power, the radical left agenda is going to cut our military to pay for the Green Bad Deal, the government takeover of health care, and all the other ideas careening towards socialism. So I'm going to stand every single day with our men and women in the military and fight to give them everything they need. That's what's at stake here. Senator, the question remains, um, have you looked into the reports? Have you looked into the anonymous sourced reports? Does it concern you? It concerns a lot of people and a lot of military families. Does it concern you? I get up every single morning fighting for Arizona. That's what I spend my I can't get over how terrible she is. Like, she's just so bad on camera. Like, she's so fucking bad on camera. She can never answer a fucking... She's like a liberal. You know what? She literally presents like a liberal. She does. Like, she's so... It's so bad. It's so robotic. It's like... You can't pin her down on a position. Like... It unironically seems like like one of those like fucking boring centrist libs. Hey, it's just like I don't know. It's really bad. Are you wearing the Yankee with no brim? Yeah. Worse, Amy Klobuchar. How fucking dare you? Amy Klobuchar is my mommy, dude. Are you kidding me? Amy Klobuchar has the most charisma. Especially when you get her fucking angry. Oh my lord, dude. She will staple your dick shut, dude. Are you kidding me? I love Amy Klobuchar. How dare you? How fucking dare you? My time doing. I listen to Arizonans, hear what they need, and then I deploy to Washington, D.C. to fight for them. You pundits can look into those anonymous allegations. And I'm just telling you, I'm fighting for our military. I'm said, fighting for our veterans, but they will cut our military again if they gain power. Mr. Kelly, does it concern you? Absolutely. He's the commander in chief of our armed forces. 
and to say that about deceased veterans who died on the battlefield, calling them losers lay up. and suckers. <laughs> what also concerns me lay is, up what after is what he said lay about up, Senator dude. John McCain uh, repeatedly on more than one occasion, especially after his when he when he passed away. And those comments are just uncalled for. You know, Senator McCain was a hero of mine from my earliest days in the United States Navy as a Navy Boo. pilot. He's the guy we looked up to. He's Shut the up, guy Mark. that in the unfortunate situation that you. I mean, just kidding. People in Arizona do like John McCain a lot. So, of course, you're going to say that. And he probably does actually like John McCain a lot. Like, that's why I was saying, like, Mark Kelly is not exactly a, a, a fucking, you know, hardcore leftist himself. But still, oh, dude, I will take any victory.